everybody, Nanny Tara here again from Nanny Gazette. I just want to thank you guys for checking out all of my videos from Labor Day weekend. If you haven't checked them out yet, I have some reviews on places we went in Branson, Missouri. Um, definitely the Branson Jet Boats and the Runaway Mountain Coaster, uh, the Falls Hiking Trail, and St. James Winery. Uh, but I, today I just wanted to kind of do a quick little video to show you what I do to include different crafts and math and counting and colors and everything here at Nanny Tara's daycare. Uh, many of you have noticed that I opened a daycare earlier this year. It is only for teachers, so I now get summers off and I get to take my summers and go hang out with my old nanny kids. So I'm really excited about that, to have summers and weekends and vacations and spring break and to spend a lot of time just hanging out and having fun with the family that I used to watch for, um, or still watching for, on and off, but mainly focused on Nanny Tara's daycare. So I just wanted to show you what we do here during the day and let you know that as parents, there are things you can do that are really simple, don't take up any time, and can be put together with just things you have around your house. Uh, this week we are learning uh, the letter C, and we are learning number one, and we're doing colors. As for our letter C, a big thing is on colors and counting one at a time. Um, we're doing Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Later on this week, uh, usually on Wednesdays, we introduce the Bible lessons fully. We'll talk about them throughout the week, but really Wednesday is our focus. Worship Wednesday um, is our focus on the Christian aspect of the daycare. But today I want to show you what I did to throw together a craft. And I do the crafts usually after nap time. Um, we've gone through our day and we may have time to do the other things or we may still be working on some of our circle time that we haven't done yet. So one of the things that we do is try to incorporate STEAM at Nanny Tara's daycare. We do science, technology, arts, math, engineering, forgot that one, um, and do just little things. Obviously, all of my children are four and under is the goal age that I have at Nanny Tara's daycare, so there's not a lot that you can do there, but you can start introducing tasks that are gonna lead them to doing other tasks later on in the future. So enough rambling and talking. I will show you what we did today with simple things that you probably already have on hand at your house. So we're gonna move. <laughs> I'm gonna tear up the whole house trying to do this. I was gonna say we're gonna move right down here so that I can show you what we've been working on. All right, so like I was saying earlier, we are doing the letter C this week and color starts with C. So our math game that we are trying to do to work on our incorporating STEAM into our classroom is really, really simple. Um, we took a whole ball bag of these puff balls. I buy them at the dollar store. I do not use them for crafts. They are a nightmare for crafts. They don't glue to anything. Parents, you know what I am talking about. They fall off of the project, your kid screams, they cry, they can't get it back on, you end up trying to find hot glue guns and super glue and your fingers get glued together. Don't bother, just don't use them for crafts. I use them as manipulatives. I stuck them in an old used Play-Doh bucket. Uh, it was perfect to hold them all the time. Um, recycle, reduce, reuse. So I wanna show you I did a really, really fast craft. All I did, not craft, I did a really fast math game manipulative, working with our letter C for the week and our number one and working in a math concept. So I went to the cabinet and found how many different pieces of construction paper I could find. I was able to find, I think seven different pieces of construction paper. I stacked them all on top of each other, cut them in half, cut them in half again, came up with these nice small sizes and we will reuse these whenever we're done, put them right back into the craft area and the kids can cut them up, use them for whatever, cards and whatnot. So I just dumped out all of them puff balls, don't need those, dump them out. And I counted out, since I had seven pieces of paper, I counted out seven of one color, six, five, four, three, two, one, all of the colors to match my puff ball, or my construction paper. Construction paper also starts with C. I didn't talk about that one. We are going on a walk tomorrow though because I have construction trucks right behind my house and we're gonna incorporate those into our letter C week. So we're also doing number one. So I let the kids take out just one puff ball at a time. I didn't tell them what we had to do. We just started working. Um, I had all of the puff balls in. I've already got some set out just to save some time, but they took out one at a time. Even the 14 month old took out one at a time and would show me which one matched where it would go. And he put one blue on blue. 
I also had a three and a half year old, so I didn't help her know where to match because she should know how to do that by now, and she does, she did a very good job. And she picked out only one, so that was something she had to work on, only doing one and taking turns. So she picked out one, and we separated them all out. I'll go through it quickly. We separated out all of our little puff balls until we had all of the bucket empty, and then taking turns one by one by one, working on one this week, working on our colors, putting all of our puff balls in. Once we got to this part right here, where we had all of our puff balls on the sheets of paper, I made sure the papers were in a mixed up order so that we could find which one had the least amount on it. This was a project more for the three and a half year old than it was for the 14 month old, but I reiterated to him, the yellow one has the least. Plain and simple, you can incorporate STEAM activities into your day, no problem. We separated them out, then we moved them up by one, two, three, four, and so on. Look at that, I have two fours. I'll add an orange one. There we go. Just like that, this project cost me no money because I already had the puff balls, I already had the construction paper, I'm going to reuse the puff balls and reuse the construction paper. I got the puff balls at the dollar store. Um, this year I got the construction paper at the back to school sale, but I also buy it at the dollar store sometimes and I buy it at Christmas for the Christmas sale. Usually Crayola has a craft um, Christmas sale. So that's it took me less than two minutes to get this project set up because I already had the stuff. I already knew what I was gonna do. I was incorporating math. We did least to greatest. We counted things out by one at a time and we incorporated our colors. So we did C, we did number one, and we had fun. Um, so I just wanted to encourage you guys to do simple things at your house. Whenever you have a time and you just have five minutes to sit down with the kids, be like, hey, I've got something new and fun to do. It might not be that fun, but they just want your attention for five, 10 minutes at a time. Um, so the kids had fun with it. And if, if you have a little bit bigger kids, you can do a race. You can make it bigger, have a pattern, um, and just do your own version of it. But thank you guys again for watching this video. And I really hope you check back and watch more Nanny Gazette stuff. I'm doing more videos, hopefully, because I'm trying to get better at recording and saying the right things. So uh, everybody have a good night or a good day or a good breakfast or a good afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are. I am going to go have some dinner. Bye.